product review for light pollution reduction filter by the uh, company Gosky. In particular, this is a two inch. Um, they come in an inch and quarter also, but I wanted to show you guys this thing. Um, in the, early in this video, you're just seeing uh, just some tests I was doing daytime. Um, it's not what it was intended to be used for, but I'm just looking at it, seeing how it affects the light and that sort of thing. But um, it's a really cool filter. It's, it's threaded on both sides, and that's important for uh, filter stacking if you're into that sort of thing. Um, generally, a light pollution reduction filter is designed to take mercury and sodium vapor light out. It's, it reduces the emissions from those. Uh, you can see it in, uh, in these lights here. That's generally your artificial lighting. I live in the city, and that's pretty much everywhere, street lights, that sort of thing. Um, here's here's a street light across the street here, and and you can see me uh, waving it in front of it, and how it cuts the light down from it. It's a really good product. Um, but anyway, um, I went out and I said I I thought about something I could do real quick, and it had been raining all day. It's it's uh, a lot of humidity. It's terrible outside, and and the light pollution is ridiculous, and. Uh, the clouds kind of moved out of the way just long enough that I could shoot Orion and I did a couple of shots of the Great Orion Nebula in uh, my 80 millimeter uh, acre map. And what you're going to see is uh, both photos are unedited and they're going to be uh, just three second 6400 ISO shots and within seconds of each other they're Here's the first one, um, and this is what I'm used to seeing, this sort of thing. This is actually a little bit worse this night. Like I said, it's slightly out of focus, but that's not the important thing. Here you can see with the filter installed, and look at the amount of nebulosity that I'm getting out of out of uh, Orion Nebula. And uh, also there's some fainter, more uh, visible stars now. It's just simply ridiculous, uh, the amount of difference that it makes. And uh, so I decided I'm I'm just gonna leave it in my telescope and uh, and do a video about it and talk about how good I think it is. Uh, one really great thing about it, it it was under forty bucks for the two inch version, and uh, if you compare that to some of the uh, other leading brands and stuff, you'll see that uh, it's way way under their price. And uh, it does an excellent job. It's uh, it's a great product, and it's definitely worth looking at. And for anybody who's not familiar with light pollution reduction filters, uh, they really are that good, and they're also good for um, dark skies where you don't have a lot of heavy light pollution. If you're doing imaging, the boost in contrast is is the big gain there. Um, it will allow you to both shoot in a higher ISO and it will also uh, allow you uh, longer exposures because of the contrast enhancement. So uh, uh, out of a 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a 10 because the price is right and it's an excellent product. It, it works. Later, I'm going to show some planetary side-by-sides and some other things and uh and, and maybe do a little bit more in-depth study and uh, video. And hopefully I can get my hands on another product, a more expensive one, and um, show a side-by-side -side comparison of the two because I got my hands on the uh, transmission ratings on several of them, and I lost that piece of paper. And I apologize for that, but there wasn't a whole lot of difference in it um, as far as uh, light transmission. So... The big difference was the price. Um, you can do your own research on that, but for under 40 bucks, and you saw the results I got there, it's outstanding. Can't beat it. And uh, yeah, check them out. It's uh, Gosky Light Pollution Reduction Filter. Clear skies.